You want to know if there's any good places to eat? Well, in this video, we're going to go over a few of my favorite restaurants to eat here in town. So stay tuned. What up y'all, it's Travis Stiegel with EXP Realty right here in New Braunfels, Texas. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about hanging out, working, playing, sleeping, being a part of the community right here in New Braunfels, Texas, then click that subscribe button and hit that little bell. That way you're notified every time we drop a new video. And honestly, my team and me are getting calls every single day from folks just like you who are thinking about moving to or relocating here in New Braunfels, Texas. So if that is you and you want to get a hold of us, shoot me a call, send me a text, send me an email, however you want to get a hold of us. We got your back when moving to Texas. Let's get into it. All right. So you're thinking about moving here. You already live here. You're just vacationing here whatever it is whatever brings you to this video and you want to know some places that are phenomenal places to eat here in town in New Braunfels well in this video we're gonna go over a few of my favorite I think we're actually gonna make this uh, more of a series because there's just honestly too many restaurants to choose from I'm constantly actually finding new places all the time um, and so this list might just keep growing and growing and I think it's best that we just make a series out of this if there's a, a restaurant that you love that we don't cover in my list drop a comment let me know what I'm missing out on or what's one of the restaurants I need to feature in maybe the next series all right so I think when you talk about Texas and food you cannot talk about barbecue Texas barbecue is in my opinion some of the best barbecue in the country i know i have friends in like kansas and some other places that they say their barbecue is the best but honestly um, no one does a brisket like us texans do brisket so that's going to lead me to my first place and that on my favorite barbecue spots here in town is going to be blacks and it's so controversial anytime you have a conversation about the best barbecue in town because everyone has their own opinion um, mine my personal opinion is blacks barbecue the original blacks is actually in Lockhart Texas which is only about I don't know 30 minutes 40 minutes away um, just southeast of Austin a little bit me and my wife have gone to the original one and for some reason neither of us like the original one at all but this one here in town, we love it. Um, always has the best brisket, sausage, chicken. It's got all the sides. Um, you know, it's got your beans, got your macaroni and cheese, anything you want. But since we're talking about barbecue places here in New Braunfels, we, we got to mention, you know, Cooper's, we got to mention Grayson's, Rudy's. Uh, the list goes on and on when it comes to barbecue here in New Braunfels. Um, there's no shortage of places to check out. I honestly think maybe a cool video idea, now that I'm thinking about it, it would be a, a you know, just highlighting all the different barbecue joints here in New Braunfels. It's just iconic for Texas brisket. You just got to go check it out if you haven't. Go into Black's. You know, get you some, it depends if you like the lean brisket where there's not very much um, fat on it or you get the moist. Uh, we like to get like a marble something in between, you know, gives you all the flavor with not too much fat in it. All right, second on the list, uh, another, you know, great place that me and my family love to go would be Callahan's Pub. So it's, it's funny, our Irish pub here in town has some of the best Italian pizza. It's just odd that the Irish pub has the best pizza in town. Um, Hands is, you know, like I said, it's, it's an Irish pub. It's 
right in downtown New Braunfels. There's, uh, it's right on Main Street. Um, there's all kinds of different beer taps on the wall. There's an outdoor seating area and an indoor seating area. Um, we love to get the pizza rolls. The pizza rolls are the best. Um, but since we're also talking about, you know, pizza here in town, I think another honorable mention would be Boss's. Boss's Pizza is fantastic. Um, it's, you know, it's one of our go-to places as well. And then if you're looking for something a little bit more um, fancy when it comes to pizza, there's Inferno's Pizza, which is uh, in green. So all three of those places are gonna have phenomenal pizza. If you like pizza, you gotta check one of those out. And we're just gonna keep trucking along uh, on this list. And so with New Braunfels being a German town, a lot of the restaurants will have German dishes or just a full on whole um, menu of German meals and, and dishes. And so the next one would be Krause's Cafe for me. I love Krause's, I love the venue. I love, you know, it's got a, a nice formal kind of inside area that I've personally never eaten at um, just because I like the outdoor the outdoor venues a lot more it's uh it's got two different outdoor venues one of the outdoor venues has wall and a roof and actually has heaters in there and fans in there um, but it's got these long tables lined up um, before covid they were like pretty much all together and it felt like you were like almost in germany it has all the german flags hanging everywhere uh, after covid it has the the table still in a row, but there's sections in between each one. Um, I like it more now because, you know, you have a little bit more uh, privacy and just um, better communication with whoever you're at lunch with or dinner with. Um, and one of my favorite dishes at Krause's Cafe is the Texas Schnitzel. So it's a schnitzel. I don't know if you've ever had a schnitzel. If you haven't, you're missing out, but it's a, thin, thin pork chop, deep fried, and then on the Texas Nistle, they put a, a jalapeno gravy on top of it. It is delicious. You have to try it. I was never a fan of schnitzels. I didn't even really know what they were. My brother-in-law um, and my sister were in town and we went out to eat and my brother-in-law has been to Germany before. He's a big fan of the schnitzel, so he ordered a Texas Nistle and I, was uh, feeling, uh, you know, kind of spontaneous, and I was like, I'll get that, and so I, I did, and now it's my go-to dish whenever I go there. It's, it's, it's phenomenal, I just love it. And then, you know, Krause's, you gotta, you, you can't mention Krause's without mentioning the farmer's market that goes on every single Saturday in the parking lot there at Krause's. Um, I've talked about it in my previous videos. It's just one of our favorite things to do on a Saturday is go to the farmer's market, pick, pick up some fresh salsa, pick up some you know farm-raised uh, eggs, some different produce, some vegetables and stuff, and then we'll walk over to Krause's and get a drink or get some snack to eat. Um, you know, Krause's is probably my go-to, almost number one place to eat here in town, but my all-time favorite place to eat by far better than any other place uh, and it's just you know, like I said it's extremely controversial because all these places are phenomenal I can't eat at any one um, too often because I just know I'm missing out on on another place but um, my family's favorite place is Clear Springs Cafe I think one of the reasons it's our favorite is because it's the closest to our house um, you know it's just a short two three minute drive down 46 to get there and uh, they have you know just the traditional American food their specialty is their catfish and and seafood I know every time I go I like to get the crawfish jalapeno chowder and it is great um, it's very spicy but with some crackers and you know maybe a cold beer or some cold water sweet tea it, it it's fine um, 
it's just phenomenal. My wife, she loves to get the chicken cob salad, and I mean, the size of the salad is massive. I normally will just get my little soup and then try to help her eat the salad, and there's still some left over. Um, so, Clear Springs Cafe, you gotta check it out, and it's actually a historical site, Mark. Um, when you're walking into uh, the restaurant, you'll see a, a historical marker right outside the restaurant, just telling you a little bit about the history of the place and how it's been around since I think the 1800s. Um, and then once you go inside, and it's just got these tall ceilings full of all these antique stuff, uh, you know, the old Coca-Cola signs, some old car parts. It's got like a metal longhorn up on there. It's just very neat. Um, it feels like you're, you know, taking a step back in time when you go in there. Um, so, so that's that's the end, guys. Uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna make this a little series because there's a ton more restaurants that we absolutely love that I wasn't able to go over in this video. But um, let me know in a comment down below what one of the restaurants you would like to see in maybe our next video, and I'll highlight that as well. So um, if you guys have any questions or need any help about anything here in Texas, in New Braunfels, Texas, you know, leave a comment, give me a call, shoot me an email, whatever. Just I'm here for y'all 24-7. Thanks. Bye.